everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just an absolutely stunning 1968 Dodge Charger matching numbers, true RT car, guys. Killer car. Apologize, I got a little cold, so you're probably going to hear that in my voice, and uh, hopefully I don't lose my voice before the end of this. Stunning car, love this car, factory color combination, this is, uh, it's called GG, which is racing green metallic, it is a very dark green, it's got the uh, green vinyl top, it has the uh, two-tone factory green vinyl interior. 68 RT is one of my favorite cars. These cars are killer. If you're hunting for them, you know as well as I do, these are as hard as there is to come on classic cars. 68, 69 Chargers, and then also the 71 Kudas. These cars are just, it's what everybody wants. Um, you can see it's got the Chrome Magnum 500s. Nice little history behind this car. I originally bought this car here locally from a gentleman. He owned this car since 19... Uh, that's just a little wax there, guys, if you're seeing that. Um, 1983, we still have the title with his name on it. We got that back from the state of Michigan. I believe he was only the second owner on this car. Um, I sold it uh, to a gentleman, Stone Pecks, here locally. Awesome guy, Ron LaPierre in uh, 2015. Unfortunately, Ron has passed away. Um, but he kept the car just as nice as can be. It's just a little wax, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to rush here. We uh, we don't have snow flying right now, so I'm trying to get it done. Um, but just a killer car, guys. It's got the hood mount turn signals again. It's the matching numbers, engine and trans. Uh, stocking recorded with a 355 sure grip. Nice, nice car. Again, just a little wax glass is nice there's not a whole lot that you can really nitpick on this car it just had a uh, paint correction and ceramic coating so that is the paint slick on the car you can see it's got the tinted glass um, it's only got like seven just over seven thousand miles on the resto and the resto was done in the 2000s the guy I bought it from originally uh, Mopar guy um, great guy had multiple Mopars in his garage, just a great guy. And um, we actually met him at a car show, is how we found this car. I love the white tail stripe. And then this is, I love the 68 Charger tail lights. Me and everybody else, I guess. This is just a, I just think the coolest tail light there is. I don't think it's ever had any body panels put on it. You can see it's nice and straight down the sides. BF Goodrich radial TAs all the way around it. Of course, the Chrome Magnum 500s. Uh, Ron put a new Flowmaster dual exhaust on it and a new Holly carburetor, and that is all he ever did to this car. Nice, nice car. 15s on the rear, it's got the 14s on the front. Great looking car. Again, matching numbers, engine and trans. I believe he said he stepped up the cam a little bit. Um, other than that, pretty much standard rebuild, but it's uh, 440. It does have a new Holly four barrel on it, Edelbrock intake. Um, you can see it's got the Mopar radiator with the shroud, matching numbers, engine and trans. It's got the 727 torque flight trans. Um, it's got uh, power steering, power brakes. Good car, like you say, just a, just a real good car. 
There's your fender tag. I do have the original broadcast sheet for the car as well. Owner's manual. There's some receipts, I think, from the first owner and that second owner in there. What a cool, cool car. We might get through this video without snow. I probably jinxed myself now though. Original A-pillar chrome, it's nice. You can pick it a little bit. Stainless is nice. So probably newer. First time my wife seen that in tears, she's like, is that original? It is. C6F, I believe, is the code. Factory bucket seats console. Factory tack and gauges. Uh, let's see if I can get this open. I can do the other side. Nope, I got my finger on it. Seats are nice. Headliner's in good shape. That steering wheel's nice. 7596, that's what's on the resto. Tack works, all the gauges work except for the oil pressure gauges below. AM FM radio. Uh, it was a factory air car, uh, um, but the air what hasn't been on it since the 80s, they said. New flow master dual exhaust, eight and three quarter, three five five sure grip rear end. Original broadcast sheet, owner's manuals, again, there's some receipts and stuff that, that all goes with the car. It's got the old uh, F7014 Redline Spare, factory jack. It's got, uh, I can't try to do this without ripping everything out. Oh, of course, it's freezing out here. It's all body color in here like it should be. And get under here. Very original under there. Door seams are clean. Just a good, good car. An iconic 68 seat. I think those are cool. This car just screams 1960s with that color combo. And green is the number one winner color in 68. How do I know that? Because my dad ordered a 68 GTO in dark green. All your gauges work except for your oil pressure is, or, or, I'm sorry, actually both oil pressure gauges work. Didn't know that. I thought one down and the one up top didn't work. A couple of little snow packs there. Radio works too. Yep. Lower motor's functional. Door 
windows open and close real nice. Uh, hood mount turn signals work too. I don't know if you can see them, but they do, they both work. Remember, you gotta give them a second, yep. Again, guys, make sure you keep track of our inventory. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is our Instagram and our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. You can do that by clicking a little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time we post a new video. Great way to keep track of us.